my god. Holy sh oh. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of butt crack. Just a little bit of butt crack. And the way that, that crystal was like taped to her back was on Oh, of course. And here's Tia looking like. Tia. Uh, the moment I walked in here, it felt like I belonged here. You belong on every stage in the world, yeah. Arena. Especially the milk crates at the local pub. <laughs> and the pole in my bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! Oh! Honey! The black velvet glove mm -hmm. all the way down. Get ready to get wet. Oh my the god. The headpiece, the coral headpiece. Mm -hmm. My only, only issue is that the blue itself. It's like a tackier shade of it blue. It seems really out of place for me. I almost wish it was like a navy blue or something a little bit deeper. I, I wish it kind of went black to navy down to like light blue at the bottom. Oh my god, like Frozen. <laughs> drag queen's drag queen. Oh, she got the Sasha Colby. She got that Sasha Colby in it. Drag queen's favorite drag queen. Drags to riches look that you made. Oh, that was incredible. God. Breathtaking. Arena, and I get it. Even mm. tonight, there's waves and there's coral, and that can get very old very quickly. Yeah. That never happened. Everything was different enough and so beautiful. Tina Burner could learn so much. <laughs> you can't teach an old dog's new tricks. You got it, kiddo. You were born to this. Oh. Give her her win. Give her her win. Drag is an amazing, amazing art form to entertain, to make people smile. Drag touches people's lives. I can attest to that because drag saved my life. Yeah, I touch myself in drag often as well. Ooh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> no kink shaming. Unless your kink is kink shaming. It is. <laughs> drag is in good hands and I'm just so happy to be part of this. And one final thing. <laughs> yes! She's a winner. She's a winner, baby. She's a winner. <laughs> yes! Y'all better know it. You will compete in the first lip sync. Oh, okay. So who is she sending home is the question. Select your opponent. Ah! Oh, she selects her opponent. That's what you get for having three badges. I would love to have one last dance with my samba partner. <gasps> no! No! Ah! <laughs> I've made my decision. Oh shit. The winner. All she did was put oh on sunglasses and walk no. around and lie down. No. no. Hold on. Queen, moving on. You can't. You can't do this. Stop. 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 You've got to be kidding no. me. No. You've got to be kidding me. Anaconda. <laughs> oh hell no. Love our girl, not correct. Come on, producers, stepping in again. You may leave the stage. I'm sorry, this might be brave and controversial. Uh-huh. Or controversial and brave. Controversial and brave. Hannah's lip sync suited that song better than Marina's did. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Marina just I would, I would agree with you. However, Marina actually had things going on. Hannah walked around took off sunglasses and laid down. And that is all I saw her do the entire performance. Yeah, but girl, she embodied that shit. Sashay away. Ruth, thank you so much for inviting this little Filipina on your big show. My lines are open for another call. <laughs> I know I made every Filipino across the globe proud and thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'll always and forever be your Filipino winner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think that's the first time we've seen RuPaul move her head. <laughs> I am walking out as Holy an international shit. glam is on with international sisters. That for me is a win already. They are all shocked. I'm shocked. You're shocked. We all fall down. I've made okay. I actually don't know. I have Tonight's a feeling. And it's not how I feel. Moving on to the I'm so opposed to the motions of this entire round. episode. Coffee. Yeah. <gasps> Thanks, props. Congratulations. You've made 
made it to the final. <laughs> you may leave the stage. I think we called it. I think we've called the season. I'm gonna go take a nap and hopefully I don't wake up. Hey, there is still a a 50-50 chance from an audience perspective mm -hmm. that our girl had a condo might take this season. So, There's also a 90-10% chance because BBC producers have stepped in and said, no, we have to go and give it to a British girl. They called the shots they long before. Ladies, I've made my decision. The time has come to crown our queen. The winner, RuPaul's Drag Race UK versus the world. Oh my God. The queen of the mother tucking world is... Le Grand Dame for that lip sync performance. <laughs> Tea or coffee? <laughs> Get it, girl! Are you sure? <laughs> Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Make sure you do your homework and pay your taxes. Yes. Now, press, my queen, press. Good job, baby. Come on, Tia. It is the culmination of so much hard work, so much focus, and so much determination. Oh, shit. She's so stupid. God bless. Oh, honey. How in the hell are you going to love somebody else? Can I get an amen up in here? Amen. 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 Let the music play. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh oh the grand arm never showed off those skills in the lip syncs. I know, she never did. I'd like us all to take a moment to um, just take in what has happened and commemorate and commiserate those lost in the journey that were undeservably pushed aside by the BBC. Undeservedly is the word I'm looking for, I think. That's the important bit you took out of that? Yep. <sighs> Yeah, I might need just like to take a hot second. The girls had zero decision mm -hmm. in who got chosen. Yeah, they like just... I'm so happy for Tia. Look at me, do I not look happy? Do I not look happy? This is the face of a happy person. Oh, 100%. Now on to the lip sync smackdown for the crown. The drag, the drama, the controversy of it all. So first up, we have Marina Summers versus Hannah Conda lip syncing to I'm Out of Love by Anastasia. And this lip sync duo was partly decided by the fickle finger of fate, Arancha Castilla-La Mancha, who spun a wheel that actually had Marina's face on it more than anyone else's because they added the queen's face to the wheel the number of times they won a repeater badge. And being selected by the Fickle Finger of Fate is actually seemingly a blessing at first, because Marina then gets to choose her opponent in this lip sync from the three remaining queens, who I'll remind you every single one of which she has beaten in a lip sync earlier this season. And not one of those lip syncs, I'll also remind you, were even close to the other queen winning. Like, Marina dominated every single one of those lip syncs for the win. And so I'm sitting there thinking, it doesn't matter who she chooses, like, she's gonna win this. She is a performer at heart. She has more magnetism, charisma, and raw performance capability than all three of the other queens put together. And I'm not trying to be shady to the other three, I'm just trying to say Marina is really that good, in my humble opinion. But the gag of the season, nay, the gag of the century, is the outcome of this lip sync. But concerning what happens, Hannah approaches this lip sync from an interesting place, almost like a karaoke or something. She's got on these big sunglasses and a microphone prop, which to me felt confusing because I do not understand or like the choice of wearing sunglasses on a TV show where you are ultimately trying to connect both with a panel of judges who wanna see your eyes and an audience at home via the camera who wanna see your eyes. Like I totally lost Hannah in the first half of this lip sync, I could only look at Marina when the editors actually decided to show us what she was doing. I'll say once Hannah finally takes off the sunglasses, like overall, I think she did okay, but I wasn't captivated or moved in the way I was anytime the camera was looking at Marina. Marina completely destroyed this lip sync and left Hannah choking on dust. And like, there is just no way that anyone could convince me otherwise. And maybe 
I'm delusional, but I saw what I saw. With the gag being that allegedly Marina even slayed harder than what we saw, because apparently the editors cut out some of her stunts and tricks during that lip sync like a backbend she did in the climax of the song. Overall here, I'd give Hannah a soft two flame rot and Marina five flame hot. This was, in my humble opinion, a robbery caught on HD camera. <laughs> I could not believe what was happening and neither could the queens like when the camera panned over to the girls sitting on the stage they were gagged they were gooped girl i was gagged and gooped i'm still gagged and gooped and i'll just end this section with saying this really hurt to watch i don't know what the producers and judges were thinking but i guess that's just when we as fans have to sit back and remember that yes this is a competition, but it is also ultimately reality TV. And sometimes on reality TV, the producers are producing and we'll just leave it at that. Then we had Marina, Marina Summers oh in this gorgeous dress where she turned around and you saw just a hint of crack. <gasps> That was insane. That was hot. It was so hot. Sorry. You've seen that done before, but it's the kiss of the top of a crack. It's just the kiss and it's the way the it kiss fits of a crack. so beautiful Gorgeous. all around her body. Yeah. Ugh, incredible. First, Marina versus Hannah, and surprisingly, Hannah wins. Okay. Not surprisingly, I think Hannah played up the comedy of the song and that worked for me. Hannah's a great lip syncer and I do love when people pull out a microphone and they start to lip sync. You know, I know Fina Barbatal and I've tipped her at least twice. To me, as I'm watching it, they are showing the judges' eyes yeah. following Marina doing splits and all this stuff, but we never saw it. They would there cut away. There definitely was some producer show. Yes, there was you're editor 100% shenanigans. right. There were multiple times where they would cut away. We get a, a really long shot of Hannah or a really long shot of a judge and then suddenly they pull out and we see a shot of both of them and Marina's on the ground and we didn't see her go there so uh, 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 to me for me part of me it did kind of feel like we were being told who to root we who were was... being told that yeah because if Marina went up against Tia Marina would have won the whole thing here's the thing Marina can now go on to do an American All-Stars and win $200,000. Or to host Drag Race Philippines.